Hi, Geminis. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be your bonus reading. You guys are awesome. You gave me the most love, the most feedback, likes, comments, views on the last round of videos. So I just want to show my appreciation, guys, okay? I'll have the next round next week for us all. But for now, today I'm recording bonus readings. I do want to tell you I've already got one card for us, and it is the Sol Solace, Soleil. Um, number 13, the sun card, to be honest. And the most interesting part about that is we just passed a Scorpio full moon yesterday um, or 24 hours ago. It's the 28th right now. And the sun card is a number 13 representing Scorpio energy. This card, the number one message in it is there is a miracle about to occur and to take action now. It's okay to take action. Now, what I got the message for Gemini is the only action you have to take is keep your mental clarity, stay focused on what you want and move away from resistance. Okay. Like your thoughts, it's all about your thoughts, Gemini. Okay. So the first card that flipped out is the tower and this is not a bad card. This is saying, yes, there is a huge change coming. It does not have to be negative. It is just going to be Catastrophic, catastrophic. Okay, saying that wrong, but it's going to just be a huge change. This is a miracle. This is something you've worked towards, whether you know it or not, Gems. I feel like a lot of you have had a really big year this year in the sense of a lot of things happening, a lot of energies, emotions, um, confusion. It could be chaos, everything. But there is something great about to happen. It is going to be like a miracle to you. Another message I got when this sun card came up is that you are being watched. Now, this could actually be other being watched from other realms because this talks about you receiving help here now, but also help you don't even see coming. So it's from other realms, okay? So gems, let's do an 18 card spread. I do offer that on my website. It's real simple. Six questions, three cards each question, right to the point. And we're going to see what's going on with this situation. Okay, Jen, let's see the chariot card there. Let's just get a good shuffle in. Let me really shuffle it here for a second. Okay, you've done the work, Gems. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you've done a lot of work. Even if it doesn't feel like things are happening, you know, often that's what happens when you're manifesting or you even see a repeat of things you don't want to happen. It's really important to stay focused, to stay calm, to not react. Reacting is just growing the problem. Okay. So let's see what this person is thinking and feeling about you and gems. We have your sar your sword your card coming out here and to be honest as i'm asking what this person is thinking and feeling about you this person has had a, an awakening or is seeing you differently now and the funny thing is they may feel that you took off a mask or you took off a layer but i feel it's just them getting more clear and realizing you never had that scary face you never had that mean mask on you were being honest and this is the sort of honesty, no matter if it hurts, right? Like it's being pointed to the butterflies. Honesty creates the transformation. It's very important. So this person is definitely thinking about you, Gemini, right now. Um, and they're having a new view of you, okay? That's what I'm getting, that mask coming off. Give it one more shuffle and I will cut the deck and we'll get right into it. So this is the 18 card spread, guys. I'm seeing the queen of pentacles there, you know, and we're just going to stick to the topic. So there's no cheating energy when I read these cards. This is all about the specific question. So another thing that this person realizes, um, they feel the reason they had this view of you is because they were intimidated by you. Okay. Even if you're dealing with someone that everyone looks at as like the best person in the world or the most giving, generous, sharing, kind, awesome person in the world, when it comes to you, you're more awesome to them. I don't know how to say this, like the feeling I'm getting, they just feel um, equivalent. Uh, no, un not, not, not equal to you. 
okay for some reason because you're very you're a powerhouse to this person this person has put you on a pedestal this person has made excuses why not to like you is what i'm getting that's why you had that mask over there like they were putting that on you saying you're wearing a mask when really they were the ones that were seeing things in opposition or seeing things in a way to to um give them permission to push you away gems that's what i'm getting here and now this person is coming to a realization it's just them they felt timid they felt scared of you you weren't trying to do any of that to them you weren't trying to be mean you're an honest person okay gems so that is the message we are beginning with a and let's cut the deck and get right into this if you do want to book this reading, it is under the 18 card spread. So the first three cards here are talking about how this person thinks of you. This person is a bit um, saddened because what I see here, what this person thinks is, I think when you guys first started, um, there's this energy of like having such a strong, strong connection. But this person was worried about losing their power to you. This person actually wasn't very upfront with their feelings about you. This person was madly in love with you, by the way. And they realized that, um, yeah, this person could have had other obligations or other things in the way or put other things in the way just to be like, oh, I can't be with this person. Because your person didn't want to lose their power and the sad thing about it is that in them trying to hold and maintain their power, they left a lot of confusion. They left you in a lot of sadness, Gemini. In fact, for some of you, maybe you did say something that was like, you know, cruel. Um, and maybe it did scare them. But I do still feel that this person is realizing they had something to do with that. And what it looks like is it came down to them trying to have power in this situation and it kind of backfired because in trying to have the power, they gave up the, the honest, truthful love you guys had. Okay, let's do one little shuffle here and see what's next. How does this person feel about you truly? So, Gems, this person... I'm seeing six of cups at the bottom, but this person feels like they messed up um, because you were trying to give them and offer them love and appreciation, no matter how difficult they made it. And I see they made it difficult. Yes, for some of them, they were definitely in a third party, but I don't like to get into that for the 18 card spread. Um, but this person didn't was avoiding putting in the work. Instead, they were putting in the work to make it more complicated. This is really interesting, Gems, because now something has happened. And if it's the work of the external forces or whatever it may be you're manifesting, this person is finally seeing clearly from the heart. They're seeing that you were there no matter how difficult they made it for you. You always took a chance on them, is what I see. Okay, let's see how they're feeling about the situation. So the way your person is feeling about the situation, you know, now that they're realizing they've, they've done a lot to make this very difficult, they're actually quite worried that you may give up on them. If they don't move fast enough, I see the king of wands here. I see the queen of wands here. Um, once again, they, they feel that you are there. They feel that you are shining and happy. Uh, but your person is thinking that you're not going to be able to do this much longer. You're not going to be able to carry this weight much longer. You're not going to be able... I mean, you can only shine for so long, right? Like, you can keep on shining. Trust me, you can. But how your person is seeing you is like you've done so much. You've carried so much here. They realize like something has to change because it's either going to be natural forces that bring a change, maybe bring someone to you who is going to make, make uh, or give you, you know, what you've worked for, what you've desired, what you've asked the universe to bring, um, or they can do it. But basically, there is an energy here of this not being sustainable for much longer. 
balance needing to be restored. So does this person plan to do it? You know, like, <laughs> what is this? What do they plan to do then? Do they want to put in that effort? We have the devil. It's interesting because I see the devil with two people in there. Is this person going to put in the effort? There's some sort of a fear here this person has. And it may be that you're going to push them away. And they're worried about how that will feel or look. This person has this huge fear because you technically kind of own their heart. And yes, you're very honest. Um, and what I see here is like, you don't want to accept. You want success, but you're not just going to accept anything. This person is worried you're going to push them away. Why do they worry about that? Because they walked away. Wow. Okay. So near future actions, because this is a common thing that happens. The, the person that walks away, the person that was so mean, the person that was, uh, you know, in a bad spot is worried about the other person doing that to them now. And it's just like, come on, you know, like just take it, take a chance. So what's the near future actions this person may um, plan to take here that really wanted to come out. We have a chariot card here. Oh my gosh, we have the sun card here. Beautiful. And we have the four of swords. So right now, I feel like this person fantasizes about rushing in, coming together, sweeping you off your feet. But they don't have the courage just yet. You know, that could be why I got the message they're watching. And healing is what I get. Healing, okay? So what's the final message? don't want to take all those cards just yet. But a wish is coming to you. Final message. Another, okay. And another. What I'm getting, okay. Final message. Wow. Okay. The final message is... This person has just gotten out of a situation. If you're wondering why this person has kind of pushed you away or not come forward, um, I feel like they've ended something, you know, another situation. Very possible, okay? It could be of anything, about anything. With the Nine of Pentacles here, this person is newly single. With the Three of Wands here, this person is planning their next steps, planning how, when, what and with the ace of swords i do feel how when what they're gonna say do show you so it's almost a message is just like give this time there's been a very serious ending of some sort it could just be an ending of the old ways and old beliefs give this time but this person is finally regrouping themselves, um, reorganizing. They know what they want to do, but they're trying to figure out how and what they're probably going to say to you when they do come forward, right? Wow, this person has a lot of love for you. <laughs> and you are still, you know, this feisty Gemini energy. And obviously that's something they love about you. Oh, I just opened it to my twin flame card. So gems. That is, you know, the best message ever. The hangman's underneath. Yeah, it's been a process. It's been a process. But you have a miracle coming in. We're going to get one more card to just close this up for you. Gems, I just saw the six of cups is what came out, you know, but I want to give it a good shuffle. And let's see what else we have. The four of roses in reverse, which is the four of wands in reverse, which is crossroad in reverse reverse. If this person was unsure about what direction they were going to go, about what's going to be the next move, the death card is at the top here, another number 13. 
there has been some sort of an awakening that happened with the full moon that just passed Gemini and it's affecting your situation in a very positive way. Please stay focused. Please maintain calmness. <laughs> like just do you believe in you and you know what's coming in. It's a miracle in a sense because you've gone through a lot, but we knew this would happen. We knew you'd get what you wanted, Gems. So don't worry. Bye for now.